I was keeping track of your whereabouts in the last 24 hours. Obviously, you were at the game. You went to the game on celebration. You ended up at the Bruins game. You were at the mayor's press conference in between that. I think you probably attended an Obama fundraiser. No, no. But you couldn't join us yesterday on the air, Larry, the morning after. Well, thank you. It's uh, it has been a busy time, but uh, but uh, I read somewhere in the paper that uh, adrenaline uh, prevents you. I'm too happy to be tired. I think was the expression yes. I heard from one yes. of the fans, and uh, and I feel the same way. Hey, as this being the jumping off uh, point of this conversation, years from now, Larry, what will be your lasting mental image about the 2013 Boston Red Sox? Oh, boy. You've always asked uh, such uh, provocative uh, questions. Uh, That's what I do, I'm going to be a little bit pensive at a time when I'm uh, uh, unlikely to be. But uh, one single image, oh, it's got to be, Jesus, um, oh, uh, I'm, I'm hard-pressed to say it other than a, um, a cliche-ridden uh, comment uh, that, that might pop up. But uh, a visual image that just popped into my mind is, uh, is uh, Koji jumping right at the end. I mean, the classic moment mm-hmm. when it ends and his finger pointed in the air. Uh, that's uh, that's the visual image I'll remember. But I'll remember the, uh, the sort of personality and maturity of the team. Uh, that's what will, 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 will stick with me. You know, it's, it's, the, it's a uh, difficult question because there are so many, not to mention, you know, Tory Hunter going over the wall and Officer yeah. Horgan with his arms in the air. The great picture in the paper today with four members of the Boston Red Sox all helping uh, the home plate umpire signal safe when uh, when Gomes came across the plate. It's just one after the other. It is, and that's, uh, that's a wonderful thing. It's going to last for a, a long time and uh, but the preparations for 2014 have already begun so we do know how uh how, t- t- how challenging it is to get ready in this short off season uh, for next year but this is a time to savor this year and not to worry too much about uh, what's what's around the corner how about when you got the tab for the one hundred thousand dollar bottle of champagne yeah who, who paid yeah for- that was a little bit of a surprise to me i yeah. wonder where that uh <laughs> Where that came from? Let's hope it was donated by the champagne manufacturer. Uh, yeah, I'm sure Pat Lyons picked up the check. Hey, there uh, you are, Larry. You mentioned 2014. This team is obviously a lot better than everybody thought, and and it, the future is very bright when you think about what's what they're losing compared to you know like the New York Yankees. Uh, will you be disappointed if you don't win it all again in the next five years? Um, we, we always want to play in October. I try to get back to the basics here. Our goal from the beginning is to be playing October baseball. So I'd be disappointed if we weren't playing in October next year. But I know how hard it is for, uh, I guess, all of us to, for things to come together. And how uh, I'm constantly talking about the randomness and unpredictability of baseball. And you could add to that the randomness and unpredictability of the health of our players. So... Uh, uh, it's it, so many things have to come together so well to uh, to win it all, and the win in such a magical way as we did this year, in such a uh, appealing way. Um, um, I, I, I you can't expect that every year, but I, what what we can expect every year is to field a team that's worthy of the fan support. The f- phrase we come back to all the time. So I, I will be disappointed if we're not playing October next year. Absolutely. For more, visit weei.com slash video.